Hi guys, my name is Monica. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm only going to talk about like one part of Trisha's video because um, she talked about a lot of things on her video, and the video is like reference to Stephanie's video, but also to something else, which I'll talk about in another video. So I'm kind of like, bro, why would you believe that? You know? But these are the comments that left were left on her video, and I do believe them because I wanted to screenshot them before. She turns off her comments because it's getting to that point, you know, so I was like, here you go. So these are the comments that I agree with, you know. And, um... Yeah, so I agree with all of them, honestly. They pretty much said what I really want to say about the video. I wish I was like, bro, like you went through this in the beginning of 2019 and you really haven't said anything about it besides like, oh, I'm kind of pissy because someone said something about me. That's pretty much what the whole video was about, in my opinion. It wasn't about Stephanie. It was just about like Nick has said something to Stephanie. I mean, not to Stephanie, but to Trisha. Sorry. <clears throat> Slow down, Nicole. Slow down. Pretty much, Nick has said something to Trisha while they were doing before they did the collab with the Fettuccine fe Alfredo. Um, Nick has said Stephanie has said something about you, and she's like, "Well, what it? What is it?" I'm paraphrasing here, by the way. And uh, Nick has said, "Well, Stephanie has said that she didn't want to do any mud bangs with you or collab with you because you're dramatic," which made Trisha super pissed because she doesn't like people calling her dramatic. That's what she said in the video. And, you know, um, she was pissy in that video and poking jabs at her, you know, in that video that she collabed in. And she kind of really want to explain her reason why on that. But for me, if anybody says something about me, whether it's like on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, any kind of social media platform, or like in real life, I, you know, depending on how I feel, if it's somebody who I don't really know, I'm just kind of like, eh. But it's somebody who, you know, I kind of admire and I'm like, bro, like, where like, they came out left field, like, what's good, you know? I will always go to that person, because, like, this happened to me, really, in real life. I had, like, because, like, my ex's mother will be like, hey, so, so and so says something about you, just block them, they'll be okay, I don't talk to them. But as soon as I talk to them, I approach them, um, they're like, I didn't say that. And my ex does it to me a lot when we were together. He'll be like, oh, yeah, um, X, Y, Z says something about you. And, like, I didn't really ask them. I kind of went along with it because I was, like, a little bit more younger. And then I kind of really realized and see his toxic patterns. And I was like, bro, bye, cut off, you know? So, um, I now realized that because, like, he brought one of his exes into my DMs and Facebook. And, you know, he was doing that to push me towards him so that I could talk to him about it. But I didn't really, I don't think I did. I think I just was like, no, I did, but I did in a way that was kind of like, bro, don't have her in my DMs again or else I will, like, literally, you know, call the cops on you. That's what I pretty much said because like, I was like, I'm not going to know of that drama and that whole back and forth thing because I'm done with that. I got too much on my plate. Stop. <laughs> you know? So I pretty much told her, hey, cut it out. Not dealing with that and deuces. Um, I usually kill people with kindness. Depending on who I'm talking to, I do really kill people with kindness to really get a very weird reaction out of them, which really works and is hella hilarious. Because I did it to one of my ex's girlfriends because she came into my messenger on Facebook and was like, hey, da 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 And I was like, okay, have a great day. Thanks. And she's like, what? She's not responding to me how like, I want her to respond to her to. So that felt great. That felt great. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that more, killing people with kindness because it, it really does work. It really does work. But, um... I think I've totally a topic. Sorry about that. So, like, for me, I wish Trisha should have, you know, asked Stephanie either, you know, through Instagram or something like that, whatever her social media platforms are. Because I don't think she has Twitter. And I don't think neutral DMs are a thing anymore. I don't think so. But, you know, I just wish that she had either got in contact with her through her business email or something like that, be like, hey, you know, da 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 you know? Can we talk about this or whatever? And I'm pretty sure Stephanie would, would have said something about it, because I don't think that's her personality to really say something about somebody else like that, you know? 
Maybe she said it in a choking way because I know she jokes around like that a lot. But like I said, I don't know those three. I don't know these three people personally in my real life world. If I do, then that will be that'll be pretty rare. Don't come lie. But you know, I just don't believe what Nick will say to somebody just to make him on his side to make things okay. You know, whatever, or to really have his uh, alleys up. Um. I don't believe in like bullying people just to be bullying them. I don't believe in that. That's just like kind of like childish to me. And yes, they're both young. You know, I think Stephanie's what twenty four and Nick is twenty seven. But still, you know, even though if somebody's like made super uncomfortable or you know they're 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 behaving something different, like for me, I would have catch on because I'm like nearer Nick's age group. So I would have like, since something was going on, and I would stop them and be like, hey, sorry, um, can I talk to you for a second? I know we're in the middle of filming, but we need to have a talk and hash things out before things got that serious. And, you know, I either we would have to continue or stop it or just cancel it all together, you know. Um, I don't know, I don't know, because I'm like a Pisces and I kind of feel more people, you know, and then I feel their energy and stuff like that. But I'm always kind of, like, being very self-conscious and very aware of, like, people's, like, energy and their feelings. So, I try to trouble on them. But I just wish that Trisha had, like, was a bit more firm about it. It was a bit like, hey, yes, I don't think he's responsible and, like, hurting her. And I wish that he would come out and do, like, some sort of apology video about it, you know? But that's just that. I'm not going to talk about her video to any any much too longer because, like... I don't want to stretch out the video, and she's been saying the same things over and over again. Her videos, and um, she's been kind of dousing around for a bit. And I feel like this should have been a more of a text kind of a thing, like on the gram or on Twitter. Um, I don't know why, like the gram or the Twitter. Um, I'm not sure why she did this because she kind of like she just she does talk, but she kind of does take a while to get to the point, like how I do. So I kind of noticed that. I try to get straight to the point, really, before like you know just losing people. Because <laughs> I I know if you don't really get the point out and as and a couple minutes of videos people will tend to drop off, but it's depending on what people want to see. So um thank you guys for the support. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. And um make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and let me guys you know pin down below. And I'll see you guys next video.